Hello everybody, I am Pranay Junjunwala, researcher at Alta University. I am here to present the work on interoperable smart sensors using the 64099 standard. I thank you for listening to this presentation. The IEC 64099 standard being accepted all across the automation industry and being very easily compatible with the service-oriented architecture and distributed automation systems has been selected to demonstrate the concept of easy interoperability and to demonstrate plug and play functionality across the automation systems. We demonstrate interoperability in coded systems using the help of adapter technology of the 64099 standard with the help of smart adapters. The smart sensor block has been made in a simple pattern and can be deployed to any given system without any difficulties. Various inputs can be set as constant to define the sensor parameters. The sensors are equipped with the adapter technology of the 64099 standard which enable the sensor to have a two-way communication and help reduce spaghetti connections throughout the application. Simple integration because of the use of smart adapters makes this design highly interoperable. The sensors are also integrated with a faceplate to view the sensor performance and also control the various modes of operation. The sensor has been designed to work on three different modes of operation, which are the difference mode, a time-based mode, and an automatic mode. In the difference mode of operation, the sensor gives an output only when the difference of the new reading is greater or equal to the set threshold value when compared to the previous reading. In the time-based mode of operation, the sensor gives an output at a fixed interval which can be predefined using the sensor interface. In the automatic mode of operation, the sensor has been programmed to use either the difference mode or the time-based mode of operations based on its progress in the system. If the system is approaching the set point, the automatic mode would automatically switch the sensor to the time-based scenario so that it gets frequent signal values. If it is not approaching the set point, it works on a difference-based operation. This ensures high efficiency of the sensor. The smart sensor has also been included with the handshake message verification system, wherein when the sensor sends out a value, it also sends a command stating that it has sent the value. And only when it receives a confirmation from the controller acknowledging its reception of the message that is when the smart sensor sends a new value. If the smart sensor does not get a confirmation within the designated time period, it resends the same value assuming that the controller did not receive the previous value. The sensor concept was tested in a simulated hot water tank system where it was instantiated for both level and temperature sensors. Coming on to the initial results of the work, the efficiency of the smart sensor was calculated in the various modes of operation. While saving up to 1% of battery as compared to the default mode of sensors, the automatic mode showed promising results of being the most energy efficient. A design pattern for interoperability, easy plug and play and modularity was demonstrated by adopting the service oriented architecture and the use of adapters. In future work, we plan to base the smart sensors on the IEEE 21450 standard to make them more industry compliant and also we plan to deploy the sensors to real hardware to compare the integration as compared to other methods and different approaches.